<sighs> Sorry about that guys, the video cut off the last one, part one, this is part two, just a wee quick one. So, I started watching Ian Gallen when I was like 13 years old, I absolutely loved his stuff, loved all the interviews that he'd done, and I continued to watch him right up until the last year. I'm well, still watching it to this day, obviously, but what I mean is last year, anyway, I went out of recovery, um, I came out of jail, on, uh, my, no, it was my 30th birthday, I came out of prison, um, straight back, within one week I was straight back hustling, straight back in me, a lot of dodgy folk, and then things took a turn for the worst, um, in July, um, a lot of knife crime happened between me and a couple of guys in the one house, Kenny Lotus Starvins, we all basically stabbed each other. Uh, I got accused of trying to cut one of their hands off, which I've no recollection of. And in turn of that, I got um, whacked with one of my knuckle dusters. Uh, then another guy ran out his kitchen and fucked a spear thing through the, white, the guy's stomach. I mean, and then after that, the guy apologised to me, I took his apology, and then shit happened again. I mean, he stepped further, I mean, I had a fight, I had a broken wrist, I had a swing on. I had to fight one in the arm, walk about the bed in arm, but then I got stabbed a week later, three twice. So, I used to do Liam Galvin, but before this I was on a podcast, <coughs> just a Facebook podcast with somebody, just trying to boost their views up a bit. I must say, I, get, I, don't, I don't get any views on this on YouTube whatsoever. I get some views. Before, last year, off through the summer, I was getting crazy amounts of views, and I deleted them videos. My self-esteem just went pew, right down, but... I was involved in with a lassie, an ex-girlfriend, I still see, still good, still close to, and I respect this lassie so much, she's done so much for me, um, but at that same time when I first met her, BBC got in touch with me, uh, another guy who had a good podcast, a very big name, got in touch with me, now this is through the word of mouth with other people that's named podcasts or other people that I know that are in the criminal, criminal world. Okay, and as soon as I have just came on the scene and I've reached out to these guys and blah blah blah, the one person I did reach out to was Liam Galvin. And in all due respect, he, he, he started following this Facebook page that I had. He loved my story. I sent him all the different pictures to help him see some of the things that I got involved in the knife crime. I've I, 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 I told him, explained all the stuff to him, and I showed him the evidence. And he knew I was in bullshitting. He really, really enjoyed my, what I was talking about. So I wanted to try and, I wanted to do an interview with Liam, so I was supposed to do it in April there, to, but I had to get an emergency, an emergency CT scan for my head. I wanted to spread awareness to the young kids. Uh, I, I was, again, I, I feel blessed that I'm still alive. Every doctor said no, I'm to 30. Everybody knew I thought I'd make it to 25. Then, the amount of time I was in the prison, I thought I was going to go into prison for life because they, like, I had weapons on me I should never have had. One pull of the trigger, that could be my way for life, and I could have taken my life away as well at the same time. So, the good part of me, because when I was younger, I used to want people with disabilities, handicapped people, I used to take them to the houses, to the schools, and the minibuses, so I'm more criminal minded. I've got a good heart, my heart's in the right place. It's just a crazy situation how I've had these two lifestyles, and we wanted to. Do the best for people at the same time. I'm also destroying lives with, with supplying jobs and what have you. But I'm out of that life now. I'm only 33 years old. I've got a very good story to tell. And we understood that I had to go for an emergency, an emergency CT scan. And I love London. I used my, I mean, my uncle said I'm London for 25 years. He worked in Harvey Nichols, interior designer. He said in Chelsea, he said a place called Angel. Uh, plus, I know people feel London myself. Uh, I've got a good contact in South London also. Um, so and I've got all the good friends in London, I love London. So I was really looking forward to meeting Liam, so shout out to Liam Galvin. Uh, I messaged him the other day there, bumped the message straight back. Uh, so Liam knows my background, he knows shit about me. And listen, we all make mistakes. Never ever let your past define who you are as a person. I don't want to look like I'm trying to clickbait. I don't want to look like I'm trying to... All I want to do is... Show people the right end of the tunnel. I mean, I survived the starving, but it almost got me paralysed to go back on my feet to see another walk in. And there are a million other things that happened to me. I mean, show it, had nice pair of throat guns, 